Hello friends, welcome back. In our last meiosis lecture, we have discussed meiosis 1 and its longest substage prophase 1. Let's take a review. Meiosis is a type of cell division which takes place only in gametes or germ cells. It is a reductional cell division in which single cell divides twice to produce four cells containing half the original cell. This meiosis is further divided into meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. This meiosis 1 is further divided into four substages prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1. In the same manner, this meiosis 2 is further divided into prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. This prophase 1 substage of meiosis 1 is further divided into Leptotene, Zygotene, Achitene, Diplotene, and Diakinases. This prophase 1 is the longest phase in meiosis 1. And this is very important phase because it increases genetic variation. As the exchange of DNA between homologous chromosomes occur in this prophase 1, the process called homologous recombination and crossing over these are the non-sister chromatids. In this diagram, you can see these are the homologous chromosomes. This is the one pair of chromosome, homologous chromosome, and this is another pair of chromosome. During prophase 1, the homologous chromosome recombination takes place, and uh, you can see the separate chromatids of homologous chromosome are called non-sister chromatids and this is tetrad. I've uh, shared the link of this whole lecture of prophase 1 in description box so you can check out from there. In today's lecture we are going to discuss the remaining substages of meiosis 1. Let's discuss metaphase 1. During metaphase 1, the homologous chromosomes or tetrad and bivalent align at the equatorial plate or metaphase plate. And microtubules, these are the microtubules which arise from the centrioles or centrosome. These are the microtubules and these microtubules from the opposite poles, you can see these are on the opposite poles and the microtubules from the opposite poles attach to the pair of homologous chromosomes. The main difference between the beta phase of mitosis and meiosis is during meta phase of mitosis individual chromosomes align at the meta phase plate but in the meta phase of meiosis 1 the homologous chromosomes or tetrad align at the equatorial plane. Okay, this is the difference. Now, anaphase 1. In anaphase 1, the homologous chromosomes are pulled out apart. This anaphase 1 is characterized by the movement of chromosomes to the opposite poles of meiotic cell 
Anaphase is very important stage of meiosis 1 because it ensures the duplicate chromosome or sister chromatids to separate into equal sets. And in last we have telophase 1. This telophase 1 is the last stage of meiosis 1. During this sub-stage, the chromosome have finished moving to opposite poles. They reach to their opposite poles and now the homologous chromosome separates into their separate nuclei. The cell reform its nuclear envelope. The spindle fiber now disappears to separate nuclei and now the cytoplasm division takes place and they will appear into two cells. In results we have two cells both contain haploid chromosomes. Half number of chromosomes. During telophase 1 what happened? The homologous chromosomes separates into their separate nuclei and now this telophase followed by the cytokinesis. Cytokinesis means the division of cytoplasm. After cytokinesis we get two cells containing haploid number of chromosomes, half number of chromosomes as compared to their parents. So this is all about the stages of meiosis 1. After meiosis 1 we get two cells, two daughter cells which contain haploid number of chromosomes. In the next lecture we will go through meiosis 2, their sub stages. I hope you understand this lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, learn science with me. Like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you.